cliffs and the shingle banks and the sand dunes are full of, full of wildlife, particularly uh, bird and, and plant life is super abundant along this coast. And in the sea, there's a huge amount of uh, marine wildlife, particularly in the intertidal zone, sea anemones, uh, starfish, crabs, you name it, there's fantastic stuff out there. The oceans and the seas surround every landmass on Earth and are a lifeline. They provide us with fish to food, rain to use and to drink, and a sanctuary that so many of us can connect with. And yet, on the land, humans have created an invention that's virtually indestructible. We wear it, we drink from it, and we contain things in it. I'm talking about plastic. Plastic is an incredibly useful and versatile material that has dominated our lives for over 70 years. It seems impossible to imagine a life without it, and it's easy to take this handy development for granted. But once it's created, it doesn't go away. A large amount ends up in our waterways and oceans, where it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. Plastic bags and other materials are harming wildlife all over the globe. Around one million bags are thrown away every second, and they can be mistaken as food, choking many species. Approximately 43% of all marine mammals, 86% of all sea turtles, and 44% of seabirds are found dead with plastic in and around their bodies. Plastics are now becoming one of the largest environmental issues caused by man. Much of the plastic that enters the oceans become caught in currents, which eventually meet and cause pileups and the formation of plastic islands. Some estimate that the ratio of plastic to plankton in the Pacific Ocean is now 6 to 1, out of sight can no longer mean out of mind, but even we humans are not free from the damage plastics are causing. Around 60% of humans across the globe receive their source of protein from the ocean and are now finding that fish species are fewer in number and that they contain harmful chemicals leaked out from the plastic. These substances could potentially cause cancers. We're here today on Lillstock Beach in Somerset and I've arranged a community beach clean we're going to be picking up as much litter as we can that we find across the beach, which is becoming increasingly obvious as the tide is going out. And it is a very cold February morning, but I'm extremely pleased because we have a lot of people out and about today. By arranging this beach cleanup, we are helping to bring to the attention the seriousness of the issue with plastics in the ocean and actively get the public of all ages involved. We're helping to raise awareness and ultimately help make a positive impact, which is absolutely fantastic.